We all know glass shatters easily, but have you ever thought about why? We're waiting for a cyclone to hit, so it seems like a good time to talk about it. First, we need to talk about everyone's favourite concepts, strength and toughness. Strength is the ability to resist deformation, while toughness is the ability to resist fractures. A brittle material has a low toughness, but that doesn't stop it from having a high strength. In fact, these properties are often trade-offs, which create a delightful set of challenges when selecting structural materials. As a material group, glasses aren't very tough, which is one of a few reasons why my actual glasses lenses are made out of plastic instead of glass. The types of glass we're talking about today are your stock standard oxide glasses, like soda lime and borosilicate glass. These names refer to the composition of the actual glass material rather than the treatments that we apply to change its properties, like tempering and lamination. The strength and toughness of a material largely come from how stress can be accommodated within the material's structure. If units of the material structure can move past each other easily, the material is going to plastically deform or bend permanently. If it's harder for those units to move past each other, it's going to take more force to seek any bending, but the material is more likely to break. Glass is amorphous, so its arrangement of molecules doesn't display any long-range order. This makes it quite difficult for them to slip past each other and relieve the stress and plastically deform, which makes it quite strong but very brittle and prone to breaking. The resistance to plastic deformation also means that when glass breaks, all of the energy goes into sound and further crack propagation, fueling the dramatic shattering. Glass also usually contains defects formed during production and handling that lower the energy required to break it. If you want to get rid of surface imperfections, you can etch the glass with hydrofluoric acid and smooth them out. This allows you to load, say, a glass rod up with a lot more weight than you otherwise could before it splinters into a million little pieces. So let's all raise a glass to glass. Just try not to drop it.